morning got some nice gifts in the mail uh, today so let's open them up and do a little look and review so we're, we're gonna try out these things I got in the mail uh, first up a little appetizer here I got these uh, CEP compression socks uh, I'm gonna give them a go see how they they work supposed to be really good helping keep that circulation in your feet going when you're on those long runs uh, you can get them where they come all the way up your calf or not I have calf compression sleeves so I want to just give the socks a try see how see how they do because I might want to wear them on some of my shorter recovery runs on the days after a long run so I'm gonna give these a try I'll let you know how they do they say they're good for 150 washes so who knows I'll, I'll try to keep track and maybe if I think about it in six months I can tell you if they really hold up or not. Now, on to the main course. The Hoka One One Clifton Edge. And I got these in the Olympic team trial colors. Oh! All right. Oh, yeah, a little, a little paperwork from Hoka. A little packaging. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, in case you didn't catch it, full legal disclaimer, I am not a paid sport, a spokesman for any shoe company or any retailer or anything else. I bought these shoes with my own money so I can say my own opinion on them. The, this is my opinion. Nobody else is my own. I'm not paid. There. I got that done. So let's check out these bad boys. Oh, beautiful shoe. Love this color. I'm glad I picked out these colors. I like the the way that like the slight gold cream and the uh, blue and the red kind of come together. I like those because some of the other ones colors didn't really like the, the scheme. Like they had a Dunkin' Donuts look. This love it, love it. So we'll give this a, a try. Oh, there's one. All right. Oh, hey, and there's the other one. Let's get rid of the box and talk about the shoes. So let's talk about these shoes. The Hoka One One Clifton Edge. Nice shoe. Um, starting off, it's got this uh, little little flare tab here. Kind of reminds me of an elf slipper, elf type shoe. I mean, look, got got the same thing going right back here. It's cut, it's a little odd. That little flare, they pull, call it a pull tab flare. Um, kind of reminds me of the uh, New Balance Beacon 2s, which I own and love. I've used them for multiple races. Great shoe. So it kind of reminds me of that. I'm, I'm used to something like that. Um, supposed to be not bothering your Achilles tendon. Uh, some people like the normal pull tab. I must admit, I do like a good pull tab because it helps getting those shoe on. But these, this should work. Not too bad. It's got a padded heel collar area. I mean, you can see that in there maybe. You can feel that. If you get a pair, you'll definitely feel it. The upper is supposed to be a um, embroidered yarn. It's supposed to allow for a little stretch. Uh, it's a slightly lighter material than the old, than your traditional Clifton, um, which I'm hoping uh, will stretch like they're supposed to and feel good. I've had problems with the Cliftons in the past. That's why I don't currently have a pair until now uh, because that older upper on them it was it was just tight I got slightly wider feet and I, I need a shoe that's going to have a little toe boxer so hopefully this will stretch like it's supposed to kind of give us something to work with all right so that kind of covers your upper now moving into the, the sole of it it's uh, supposed to have that rubberized EVA outsole is what it's supposed to have. So it's light. It, it's making it lighter because it's not that heavy rubber that you normally get. So it's lighter than your standard lifting just slightly. Um, for a size 9 US, it's 8.9 ounces. This is 9.5, so I'm going to have to weigh it at some point and see just kind of where we're at on the weight. Uh, it's got this nice little heel extender here that's supposed to allow for when you're running down hills allow it to help you transition for a more smooth ride uh, also if you're a heavy heel striker it'll kind of help with that that transition because you have that metal 
rocker plate that Hoka puts in here so it'll help you do a nice smooth transition into your next step. I mean, it looks a little elfish, but I think I like it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try these on. I'm gonna do a few runs in them, get some miles. I'll come back and give you my initial thoughts on them, and then uh, I'll give you a, a final verdict eventually when I get somewhere between 50 and 100 miles. But we'll try these bad boys out for a little bit and give you some initial review on what I think of them. See, I'll I'll make sure to give you the good, the bad, and uh, do I think it's worth the cost? Because right now the cost is $160 retail, depending on where you look. Um, important to note about uh, Hoka, they're they're sticking to that four to five millimeter drop range. These, depending on which website, the the heel is either going to be a 28 or a 33 millimeter stack height, depending on which website that is, dropping down to either a 28 or 24 millimeter midfoot. Um, I'm not going to cut open this shoe to measure that, so yeah, that's not happening. I just bought them. I want to make sure that, you know, they're good. It's been almost 20 miles, and now it's time for my thoughts on the Hoka One One Clifton Edge. So the fit, uh, that embroidered TPU yarn upper, all right, fits amazing. It uh, actually stretches pretty good. I have a wide foot, like I said earlier, and it stretched and accommodated my foot just perfectly. So it's it's a good comfortable shoe. It's a it's a light shoe. It's fast and it's it's soft but not too soft uh they've done a really good job with that um the fill man it's surprisingly it's surprisingly light even though it's got this big old piece of eva foam back here it, it, it's pretty light foam uh underfoot um it's got enough cushion to it but it's still enough stiffness that you can really take off on it if you need to it's not a shoe i go do like a, a sprint in, but it's definitely a shoe I'd want to wear on a longer run. And then uh, the ride, man, it, it is smooth. The way they put that mid metal rocker uh, in here and this this hill portion here, it's a nice smooth transition when running, especially when going down a hill. Um, yeah, you can do it and it, it does not fatigue you at all. So. Hey, Hoka, I'm kind of liking it. Uh, so some of my likes. That early stage Meta Rocker, like I said, it, it's great. Love it. The, the ones that they have where it's a little bit farther forward, a later stage one, they kind of, you know, can cause a little pinky rub or Hoka toe is what I've heard other people call it. And this, no issues at all. The upper, that fit again, is just, it's so perfect. It's got enough give, it, it accommodates your foot, yet it's not, I'm not worried about this upper falling apart either. All right, this, it, I mean, it's actually well built. That extended heel and the width of it, making that base perfect. You can run down hills and, and feel confident run down a hill fast in this shoe. The grip level, it's not bad. Um, it has more than I thought, even though this is just a uh, rubberized EVA outsole. Uh, it, it's pretty good on, on grip level. Now, I wouldn't want to wear it on trail, and it, it's not going to do great if the roads are really slick, but 
if you're running and it's a little damp out and you're on pavement, she's gonna work. One more like I like to it is the weight. It's not that bad of a weight. Um, even though this is 8.7 ounces for a size nine, if you go to just the normal Clifton, it, it's or the, yeah, this is 8.9 ounces I should say. The normal Clifton is 8.7 ounces, so this is a slightly heavier, but it just it feels good. You won't notice that. So the dislikes though for this shoe, the tongue. Um, if you do the runner's knot, you know, or use this lower eyelet, uh, the tongue being kind of a flatter, not padded here, it'll rub. It'll, that runner's knot will push that uh, tongue right up against the front of your uh, ankle area, and it, it rubbed a little bit on me. Not so bad that I'm like, oh man, I can't wear these again. I just don't use the runner's knot, and you have to really play with your laces and make sure you get a good heel cup lock in, and you'll be fine and no other issues after that. I did say this is great that this width back here, the only bad thing about the width of this hill area is when you're running. If you're one of those individuals who runs and your feet are pretty close together and occasionally you kick your own leg or rub your own ankle, you're gonna do a little more with this because, I mean, it sticks out there. You're gonna get yourself. So be careful, make sure you're wearing long socks. You will not wanna be wearing, uh, no shows if you have a problem of accidentally kicking your own ankle. This outsole, like I said, definitely would not want to wear it on uh, on grass or an extremely slick surface. Also, this EVA uh, rubberized EVA seems to be wearing a little bit more, like right here on the heel. Yeah, you see that right there on the heel. It is uh, it is rubbing. Um, it's wearing down a little fast now up at the midfoot not an issue it's just just that heel portion there also you you get a lot of rocks and stuff you'll pick up in these holes on the bottom in the tread it's not a bad shoe you know uh it's definitely a, a shoe if you're going to be running on a hilly course or you're going to be doing some hill repeats i'd wear it on hill repeats so that on your way down the hill you're not getting jarred It'll make for a nice smooth jog down the hill. Hilly courses like the Marine Corps Marathon or 50K, this is this is gonna be a good shoe. It's not so heavy, it's gonna wear you out. And it's great for going up and down those hills. A long tempo run, something like that, again, I'd wear it. I wouldn't wear it for a 5K, but I'd wear it for something like that. Yeah, and this is not the, hey, I'm going to go out and run a six-minute mile pace shoe. This is the, hey, I'm going to go out and run a little bit slower pace, like 7.15 on up pace, and I'm doing a nice easy run that's going to, and I want something that's just going to take it easy on my body. You can wear this shoe. It'd be good for it. At $160, when the price point comes down a little bit more, it, it'll be better. Uh, compare it to normal Clifton, you know, I think it's worth it. So those are my thoughts on the Hoka One One Clifton Edge. Remember to uh, smash the thumbs up button and uh, leave a comment below and tell me what you think of this shoe. Thanks for watching the video. Train hard and have fun.